Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Real Film Talk. My name is Will Bromlick. Now sit back, grab some snacks, and enjoy the review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the latest installment in Marvel Animation. Not your parents, X-Men. This is X-Men 97. Here is my reaction for the trailer of Season 1. X-Men, assemble! Wait a minute, no. To me, my X-Men, that's better. We are going to be looking at the trailer for Season 1 of the newest animated series, X-Men 97. I wish I had a more clever intro, but I'm just really excited to, to look at this. Oh, we're really going back here. Oh yeah, they got the guitar riff and everything. Oh, we're really going uh, pretty deep here. The professor entrusted us with his dream. No matter how dark it is, we must believe in each other. Get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. Classic uh, Cyclops Wolverine rivalry. That makes me think uh, is this following up the 92 version? I think it is, yeah. To me, my X Men. Hey, I just said that. Ooh, plot twist. Okay, I'm honestly really stoked for uh, this. I really like uh, the X-Men. I've wa read most of their comics uh, growing up and I've seen a lot of the movies. Personally, I think when it comes to the movies, I think Days of Future Past is uh, the best one. Well, it's either that or Logan, I think. Um. But yeah, Wolverine is like hands down my favorite X-Men character. I think that's a pretty cliche uh, thing to say, but I think uh, he's a favorite for many. But I'm glad they have like, you know, the classic banter that he and Cyclops uh, go through like they've done before. I wonder if they're gonna, still gonna have like the same love triangle like uh, there was between Wolverine, Cyclops, and Jean Grey. I mean, it looks like uh, in this one, Jean and Scott are gonna have a kid, so, which if you've read the comics, we all know who the kid turns out to be. So yeah, I'm really excited to uh, see this uh, show. I will binge watch all the episodes in one sitting and I'll come back to you with my overall thoughts. X-Men 97 had episodes directed by Chase Conley, Emmy Yanamora, and Jake Castorina. In this series, a band of mutants use their uncanny gifts to protect a world that hates and fears them. They're challenged uh, like never before, forced to face a dangerous and unexpected new future. So I actually watched the original X-Men animated series prior to watching this, and I thought it was really good. The movies I feel like are pretty hit and miss. Some are good, others are X-Men Origins Wolverine. One of my friends suggested watching this uh, new show that was recently released on Disney+, Plus, and it's produced by Kevin Feige, who's a producer for all the installments in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I was pretty excited about the show, but I was worried that the MCU was continuing to lose its touch. However, after watching all of season one, I want to announce that this might be one of the best installments in recent memory for Marvel. Now, heads up, if you look at the show and think uh, it'll be good for kids, might want to show them the other animated series from 1992. This one takes a more mature approach. There are some themes added to the season that are more fit for an older audience. 
Now, like the 92 series, this does feature some similar aspects, uh, like X-Men throwing one-liners at the bad guys, but this show gives us something new. In this review, I'll take a look, quick look at each episode. I think uh, the proper way to start the review is to talk about the intro. It is quite possibly one of the best intros in any animated show. Not only doing the same format uh, as the 1992 series, but it has a great theme with a guitar riff, with some updated animation, and it kind of gives us a sneak preview of what is to be expected in the coming episode. Thankfully, the snippets don't last too long. However, I feel like in some ways they do give some spoilers of the show. In the first episode, we established Charles Xavier is no longer around to lead the X-Men and places Cyclops in charge. Nice episode. Seems like a pretty typical episode of a superhero show. We establish the story and the setting of what is happening. A conflict arises and the X-Men must band together to solve it. Remember Morph? No, of course, nobody does. In the 1992 show, he was literally in one episode and that's it. We literally never see him again. In this newer installment, he's more of an established character and I guess he's seen more as comic relief than a serious character. We're also introduced to a new character named Roberto as he's trying to face his past and be comfortable with who he is. The episode does end on a cliffhanger, making you think why all this is happening. The second episode revolves around Magneto trying to build better relationships with the X-Men and him wanting to fulfill a promise he made Charles and trying to build a society where humans and mutants can coexist, even if most uh, humans don't like mutants. This carries on for the next few episodes, probably until episode 5. We'll go to that one in a minute. One thing I did like about the next few episodes was a bond formed between Roberto and Jubilee, who was the newest recruit for the X-Men at the time. I really liked their chemistry and see why they generally cared for one another. He doesn't fully understand his uh, abilities, but Jubilee helps him find the courage to embrace his other side. I think that was a relationship well done. One of the things in the next few episodes was how we try to establish Magneto as a bit of a hero, which does come across as strange as we've known him to be the sworn enemy of the X-Men for so many years. However, I was quite open to the change. Main reason was that not only did Magneto cherish the friendship he had with Charles Xavier, but he attempted to carry out his vision of creating a peaceful world, even though he knew most humans wouldn't agree. There's also a love triangle established, which is well executed throughout episode five, which I think we should talk about next. Episode five, in my honest opinion, is the best episode of the season. This is the episode that shows you that this is going to be unlike any animated superhero show we've gotten in the past. It gives us many characters we've seen in the X-Men universe, and the episode is more intense than any of the other episodes I personally think. That love triangle comes full circle, and while how it ends isn't how we expected, I think how the episode concluded really goes to show that anything can happen in this show or any project going forward. The next few episodes are the X-Men trying to figure out who is trying to declare a war between humans and mutants. I think you need to be familiar with the comics to understand who some of these characters are and what their purpose is. This season is also clever to give us some cameos of other Marvel heroes. They don't do a lot, but the fact that they establish they exist in this universe make this a, a, a more than satisfying season. Now, if you might be thinking, well, why don't these characters help? Well, kind of an easy answer. It's an X-Men show. We did have Marvel characters interact with one another like in Infinity War, but this tries to focus on being in the X-Men universe from the 90s. In the end, X-Men 97 season one is a great start to this show. It has improved animation, a lot of character depth, and some great fan service. I'm looking forward to season two, and I want to see what other adventures everyone's ba favorite band of mutants go on next. Now I'm going to be doing something that hasn't been done before. Unlike my review of Wednesday season one, I will not give a grade for this season. I think it was just proper to talk about the season episode by episode. In summary, really good season with giving us what we want in a show, leaving us wanting more. Thank you all for watching this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Will Bronick, and I will see you at the movies. Save a seat for me. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.